Hey everyone, we are going to be taking some grammar notes today on misplaced modifiers. If you are taking notes as you are watching this video, keep in mind you can always pause it if the video is moving too fast, or I will be embedding the link to just the slideshow without the video, so you can take notes that way as well. Before we really get into it though, I want to explain why we're taking notes on misplaced modifiers. So we know that modifiers can be added to our sentences to help us understand a subject more or to make a sentence more interesting. However, when we add modifiers, we have to make sure we're placing them in an appropriate place, otherwise our sentences can be a little confusing. Let's take a look. So first, just in case you need the reminder, a modifier is simply a word or phrase that adds a description to the sentence. Like I said, that description can help us understand a topic more, or it can just make a sentence more interesting. Now typically, we would find the modifier right next to, either in front or behind the word that it logically describes. So if we were going to add the word blue to the following sentence, there's probably a logical place for it to go. Listen, it says, At a downtown dealership, Kara bought a truck from a salesman with a comb over. Now in this sentence, there are a lot of nouns that we could modify. We could describe the dealership as blue, Kara could be blue, the truck could be blue, the salesman could be blue, even his comb over could be blue. However, there's a logical place for this modifier to go, we know that out of all of those items, the truck is what's most likely to be blue. So if we were going to place that modifier blue in the sentence, it would logically go before the word truck. Keep in mind that our modifiers can also be multi-word phrases. So I've given you a few examples in our two sentences here that have multi-word phrases as well. The first example says, Travis gobbled the sandwich, which was soggy with tomato juice, as he rushed to class. That phrase that's bolded is a multi-word uh, modifier. In the next example, we see, gazing out the window, Paul missed the homework assignment that Professor Herder wrote on the board. Again, that modifying phrase has been put in bold. Now, we can run into some problems, though, if we have what's called a misplaced modifier. If we have a modifier in the sentence that's not next to the word that it logically describes, we can have a really confusing sentence. Again, this error is called misplaced modifier. Let's take a look at an example. It says, turning in the Atlantic Ocean, we anxiously watch the weather report for information about the hurricane. In this example, the bolded phrase is the modifier. However, right now it's right next to the word we. So it kind of makes it sound like we're the ones who are churning in the Atlantic Ocean. But we know that logically, that's not true. We see the same in our next example. It says, Professor Jones, who was late for his final exam, waited for the slacker student. Again, the modifying phrase is the one that's in bold, but right now, Right now, it's next to the word Professor Jones, which kind of makes it sound like Professor Jones is the one who's late. Now, we know that it is possible for professors to be late, but if we look at the rest of the context of the sentence, it says he's waiting for the slacker student. So logically, Professor Jones is probably not the one who we're waiting for or who's late for the exam, okay? But because we have misplaced modifiers, both of our examples are a little bit confusing. So on this next slide, we're going to talk about how we can fix misplaced modifiers. Now, one of the nice things about fixing this type of error is that the fix is really rather simple. All we have to do is move the modifier so it's right next to the word that it logically describes. So I'm going to go back to our two examples from the previous slide, and I'm going to explain where I moved those two phrases. It says, we anxiously watch the weather report for information about the hurricane turning in the Atlantic Ocean. As we can see, I've moved that modifying phrase, turning in the Atlantic Ocean, so that it's right next to the word it logically describes, hurricane. In my last example, 
Professor Jones waited for the slacker student who was late for his final exam. Again, I moved that bolded modifying phrase right next to the word that it probably was actually describing, which would be the slacker student. So again, all we have to do is fix, to fix this problem is find the word that it's describing and move that modifying phrase to right next to it. If you have any questions about what we've talked about today, please feel free to comment on this video with your questions or you can send me an email and I will try to respond to your questions as soon as I can. Thanks for watching everyone.